welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought it would be super, super fun to talk about some products I've decluttered on my Poshmark. Now, this video is not sponsored or anything, but I have so much makeup and I found that Poshmark was a really easy way for me to sell some of my gently used makeup. And so I thought you guys might be interested in hearing some of the reasons why I put some of these palettes on Poshmark. And yeah, just kind of hear my thoughts on these. So the first item that comes up in my Poshmark closet as sold is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. Now, I bought this palette right away when it came out because I used to be a huge collector of Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes. I feel like, you know, subculture was a miss. Prism was definitely a miss for me. I think they did redeem themselves with the Soft Glam palette. I mean, that palette, yes, it's boring, it's neutral, but it's amazing. and. I honestly cannot wait for ABH to come out with a colorful palette. I feel like that might be next for them. And I remain hopelessly optimistic that it's going to blow us all away. So yeah, let me know what you guys' predictions are for their next palette. The next item I was able to declutter on Poshmark was the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. Now, nobody talks about this anymore. It's kind of where I think Urban Decay started where they did all these collabs and then a couple months later you would see the palettes go on sale. These palettes went on super super sale and I think this was a collab that most people actually did like. I personally just bought it because it was cheap and that's not what I should be doing but I couldn't help myself. It was such an affordable price so it totally suckered me in and I bought it but I never use it so it was nice for me to pass it on to a better home even though I know a lot of people really enjoyed it. I was just not one of them. Another palette I decluttered on my Poshmark is the Kathleen Lights X Morphe palette. Both the brand and the collaborator are, you know, kind of sketchy just a little bit so I'm happy to get that palette out of my collection. I never really used it anyway, like I think I used it when I bought it and I just didn't really like the color combo. I know a lot of people really, really, really wanted that palette and it sold out pretty fast. So yeah, I hope it is in a better place. If you guys have bought from my Poshmark, I think it would be really awesome if you commented down below and said hi because I don't know, that's kind of cool if you're seeing this video. Okay, I also was able to sell my Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy palette. Now, my Kylie collection consists of very few things. I also bought the bronze palette. That's actually still available on my Poshmark in case any of you guys want it. But I'm glad the Burgundy palette sold. Honestly, again, a palette that I maybe used once or twice. Just bought it for review purposes. And at the time, I wasn't even that consistent with my YouTube channel. So it never really got reviewed or anything. And I kept meaning to try them, kept meaning to try them. But honestly, I have so many eyeshadow palettes. It's so pointless. And the little bit I did try, I wasn't very impressed with. So I am happy I was able to move that along. I was also able to sell the two NARS Pro Matte Lip Pigments that I own. I honestly was not a fan of this formula. At first I was and I bought the red shade. But these pigments, they're not like a liquid lipstick. They don't dry down. So the red shade made such a mess. Oh my god, it would get everywhere every time I wore it. You couldn't store them laying on their side because they would leak. Oh my gosh, it was such a hot mess. So I definitely tried to make it known that they were not the easiest product to deal with. And I was able to sell them both for $7. And they like originally retailed for $28. But honestly, I was just so happy to get them out of my collection. So yeah, very excited about that. I was also able to go ahead and get rid of my LC Cosmetics Micro Silk Foundation. Now I bought it and I wasn't a huge fan of it. I know some of the YouTubers I watch at the time, I remember Desi Perkins as well as Shawnee Total Makeup Junkie. They both were like raving about this foundation. So I bought it. It wasn't even that cheap. It was quite pricey, but you know, those were two that I trusted, so I bought it, and I was not overly impressed by it. So I am so glad that I was able to declutter that as well. Another palette I sold, I feel like a lot of people really wanted to buy this palette from me. And I kept putting it off, and putting it off, and putting it off. And finally, one day, I put it on my Poshmark. And I believe one of my subscribers was able to pick it up, so that was good. But this is a Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. Oh my gosh, I know people die for this palette. It is just too cool tone for me and honestly it just sat in my collection for so long 
collecting dust. I was so happy to see it go to somebody that wanted it and was able to get it for a decent price. The other palette I sold, this one I regret a little bit, but in a way I'm like, you know what? I was not using it at all. Like in the past year, I don't think I used it once. It's the Violet Voss Ride or Die palette. The palette is so freaking spendy and I can't believe I sold it for the price I sold it for, but Honestly, like, what's the point? I get a new eyeshadow palette in the mail pretty much freaking every day at this point. So I'm so happy to just give it a good home. And the Violet Voss formula is honestly amazing. So whoever got that palette got it for a steal. And it's a wonderful palette. I still have the new Flamingo palette from Violet Voss and the Laura Lee palette. As well as the Holy Grail palette. The Laura Lee palette is on my Poshmark if any of you guys want it. I'm kind of like on the fence about it because... I do like the formula, so I'm like, maybe I should keep it. And there's some, like, fun, unusual colors in that palette. But also, again, it's back to, like, I never use it. So, yeah, it's a toss-up. Now, I was able to get rid of quite a few of my Morphe products. So I got rid of the 35R, the 35O. All of those are gone. And I'm so happy because those palettes, again, I used to live for the 35O. But after a while, I just forgot to use it. So I'm glad it is gone from my collection. I was also able to declutter a bunch of my MAC pigments as well as some that I had bought from JCAT. It was just, again, collecting dust. I went through a pigment phase that lasted maybe like two weeks. And after that, I wasn't using pigments anymore. They are so much work. So super happy those are not in my collection anymore. I was also able to declutter the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette. That palette was such a bad buy. I totally fell into the hype. I was hoping it was like the Electric Palette formula, and so I bought it, and it was not. It was very disappointing. I was not a fan of it, and so I got rid of it. So I'm glad it's not in my collection anymore, but I'm definitely weary of Urban Decay. Their brand has definitely suffered. You know, it's just suffered with a lack of creativity. Um, for a while now and you know whatever there's other brands out there so I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it but they haven't made anything in a while that I've been attracted to I was able to declutter my it cosmetics CC cream again I was just not a big fan of the formula and it cosmetics is one of those brands that I have a hard time supporting so I'm glad it's not in my collection either I was also able to declutter the Jeffree Star Watermelon Soda Color. This is now a permanent shade in his line, but at one point it was limited edition. It was just not the color for me. I thought it was going to be more of a red pink, but it's actually just like a bright, 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 like bubblegum pink, and it was not a very flattering shade on me. So I am super, super happy that somebody picked that up from my Poshmark. And I also got rid of the Verb Ghost Shampoo and Conditioner. I was really excited because somebody had recommended that shampoo and conditioner to me, um, saying that it was really lightweight. I actually really like the Verb Ghost Oil. That is definitely lightweight and wonderful, but this was not. So super happy to have gotten rid of that. I also got rid of all of my MAC eyeshadow singles. Not a big fan of that formula, so I got rid of it and it went to a good home and I'm so happy not to have those in my collection. I also got rid of my Artist Couture Gold Digger Highlighter. These are loose highlighters from the brand created by Mac Daddy. Was not a fan. So happy to have that gone. It was just like a burst of fucking glitter every time that I opened it up and I found it really difficult to use. So that is gone as well. I also was able to declutter my Lorac Mega Pro 1 palette. I used to be such a huge Lorac fan and I don't know, one day I literally woke up and I just didn't like the formula. It was so crumbly and messy and the shades really, I wasn't getting any use out of. It was not my makeup vibes. It was totally like a hype buy when it first came out because it was so, so limited edition. I was one of the very few people, it seems like on the internet, that was able to get a hold of it. So. Super happy that I was able to declutter that as well. Okay guys, I don't want to make this video too long. I feel like I can keep going on and on and on about things I have decluttered on my Poshmark. If you are curious, this wasn't like a self-promo video. I just thought it would be fun to talk about products that I used to own and kind of tell you guys my thoughts and why I got rid of them. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I will go ahead shamelessly and link my Poshmark down below. It is linked there always in all of my videos. So definitely check it out if you're looking for some gently used makeup. 
I still have a ton of stuff I need to add on there. I am gonna go ahead and get rid of like my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kits. There's a few, like I wanna get rid of the Nicole Guerrero one. So if you want that, I don't think it's for sale anymore. It's barely used, honestly, and I do sanitize all my products and things like that. So yeah, keep an eye out on my Poshmark, follow me. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely leave me a comment down below and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.